Howdy Doody and welcome back to the channel and today we're going for a little adventure just on my way to pick Simon Sugden up he don't really get out much through, through the week because he can't drive at all so I'm off a few days this week so I'm going to take him somewhere where he's never been and I want to try and get his face it's a waterfall I've been to did it probably the third or fourth blog, vlog I ever did so we're going to scale by force so I'm going to take him down the ravine because he's just had a hip replacement so I'm hoping he's going to be alright but I want to see his face when we get there and what I haven't told him we're going to do a few roadside locations around the Yorkshire Dales this, today so yeah so I thought I'd bring you along and just see what we get up to but I've got three or four locations in mind all at the roadside so yeah come along and let's see what happens Peeps, scale before us. Little gate there to get through. Just follow it down. You know, Simon's just getting his gate out. This is literally where we've parked. Just right at the side of this gateway here. Leads you down through the woodland, just down there. So yeah, hope you enjoy this from the road's first look roadside location. Scale before us just down there. But look at the colour of this woodland. Look at the leaves on top of you, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Nearly down at the bottom now. Beautiful, First impressions? Absolutely amazing. There we go. The noise is incredible. Scale the force just down here. The colours, the noise. The first shot will be on the sledge, looking down, obviously getting that tree trunk in and looking up there, so yeah. But look at the colour around here. The only obstacle is that big tree, but I'll probably get up onto the ledge and round the corner. So if you see, watch the other video where I got the drone up, I'll bob it up here for you now. But there's too much spray for the drone today, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'll bob that one up for you, you can have a watch of that one. But I did take quite a lot of compositions there because the water wasn't like this. But yeah, this is unbelievable. The force of this today is fantastic. So yeah, stay tuned. There you go. He's loving it. So we're actually going down this step as well. It's just had a replacement. So I've given my sticks to get down. And we've got him down here very gingerly. But we've got him down to this location. So yeah, stay tuned for the images. Right, Pete, as you can tell, we have his way down now. So I did record it first. Still on hyperlapse. <laughs> like a knobhead. So anyway, this is where we are. Scale the force. We have come there. Simon's just round there. Shooting down. But composition wise, I'm going to get quite low on this fall here. As it cascades over. So the force sort of wraps around this tree. I want this tree to be part of it. So yeah. First composition, the first image in a pull, roughly one sixth, one third of a second, with no polarizer. I will probably put a polarizer on this one. That's all, just to stop with a bit of the glare. So, yeah, if it works out, I'll bother on now because they're still, still in the bag at the minute, but now this is roaring. We 
with the waterfall flowing as it is I have got a polarizer on so I'm getting the glide off this top ledge here and coming down so with it flowing like this as well I've gone for half a second instead of a normal third of a second so yeah <coughs> should we get a bit more texture in that water but yeah this is really flowing is this so yeah for the first roadside location today scale the force absolute beauty I will try and get up a bit further now and try and get a bit more probably try a vertical orientation something like that might even jump down another other level and get it coming up as well but if I do I'll bob the images on now for you into this fall here with that tree there on the right hand side the waterfall on the left and all this autumn colour around us so yeah very nice all the green moss around on the rocks there and everything so yeah what a place I'm going to try and get back up now and back down the other side to where Simon is so yeah I'll see you in a bit yeah I see that big log here I was going to try and take an image here but we've got all this cack around this side here and I've got the wellies on but it's still quite deep but also that tree sticks right into it I don't know how far round I could probably go but yeah the tree there look sticks into it so yeah I don't think I'm going to bother with this one I'm going to, going to try and get back up there now so yeah for this next little roadside location like I say we're parked right the side of the road up here I'll show you when we get back up and then uh, Next, next location on its way. Right, peeps, it's next location, which you've also seen before, which is Winskill Stones. Here we go, straight down the lane. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly get the camera out here and just take a shot, leading over this cattle grid, this tree on the left hand side with that white farmhouse there. I'm going to do it now because it looks like it's going to start to break up, but I want this cloud above it, so I'll quickly get a shot now. I'll bob this up for you as we make his way down to the lawn tree. As you can see straight behind me there's a few vans parked up but yeah take you down here down this side now to the lone tree which is literally from where we park the van literally within five minutes walk so yeah location number two on us day out in the dales walking down now look at the light in that background casting all the old mining works out so yeah as you can see the top of the lone tree it's just about there somewhere as you can see just there Simon is coming down the corner now, look as you can see and that's that tree we are shooting before which that could be a nice location for a bit of astro so yeah, making his way to the tree now we'll be there in a couple of minutes here we are peeps that is next location windskill stones the light is just catching over the old quarries in the background so what I'll do, I'll put a quick image on there what I took when it was coming down so I might even get the long lens on and try and get some of these in the background at the moment but yeah windskill stones a bit of limestone and the tree coming up so I've been here before got a sunset shot here where I was literally sat in this hole looking straight down so yeah I'll do that again these might turn out black and white got a nice mood of day at the minute before that sun breaks through so yeah I'll bob these up Simon's busy shooting away already look <laughs> What do you think of this location? Oh, great, great, the colours are just, again, what a, what a place. Uh, it literally five minutes walk from the van, it's which is only just up here. It's amazing so, how much a lone tree can stand out in the landscape. So there you go. Yeah. Another, another roadside-ish location on this day out in the Dales.
I've been working this location literally five minutes. <laughs> but my favourite so far, obviously, Simon's just getting set up with a long exposure at the minute. But again, I've been sat in there. So getting these, th these ferns as well in the foreground. I've literally got the 24 105 lens on. All handheld. All handheld. So bang on 24 mil, some of them. And especially this one I'm going to show you now. Just being careful where I put my feet. So I was cramped down here, taken into this big hole on the limestone, which leads you right across to the right hand side, and the tree is actually leaning left. So yeah, quite a nice one this. This one will be definitely black and white, will this one. So I'll bother the images up now for you. Let Simon get sorted with his long exposure shot. And if it bombs out on the Facebook group, that I'll link in the description below, I'll bob it up for you as well. And then we'll get, I'm going to get the long lens on, now the sun is casting over the other side, and get a few intimate shots. So yeah, enjoy these. As you can see me there, pelting over. <laughs> it was all about the lights, so yeah, it is. Well, it's all covered now, look. So I'll bother these shots on for you. And then we're going to pack up now and go to his next location. So yeah, we'll see you there. making his way back now just busy watching just busy watching two kestrels it's a shame i haven't got the 200 or 600 lens with me otherwise that would have been on but yeah it's the ideal is that just hovering right above us so anyway next stop we're going to malam town so it's not too far from here only about five miles so we'll see you there Right then, peeps, we've made it to Malam Tarn. And no, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, we've just got a little short walk now. It is flat. That's his car park here. And literally, I say, what, 10 minutes drive from Winslestones? Give or take. I did do a high lap, so you've probably just seen that. So, yeah, when we go over to the other side, I'll meet you there because there's an old boat house here, and I'm hoping. There's gonna be some autumn colour with that, so if there is, I'll show you when we get there. Here we are, peeps. Edge of Malam Town now. You can see the two boat houses. That's my intention for today. I'm gonna to try and get telephoto lens on, get a couple of shots of these boat houses with the autumn colour behind. So yeah, fingers crossed that's what that works out. Might even try a long exposure shot as well, down by the edge if we can find a rock or two. A bit of foreground interest because it is quite a expanse is this i think it is classed as the largest natural tarn in britain so yeah stay tuned i'll come back to you when we get over with something there we go that's got the long lens on now just focusing on the bottom third on that boat house with all this autumn color behind it i am banging at 200 mil on this so yeah, it is proving a bit bit difficult is this. So with the lens, I should have brought me, should have brought me a big one. <laughs> so anyway, I'll bother the shot on for you. It probably will be a 16 by nine crop or something like that. It is blowing an absolute gale up here though. But yeah, that, that is, well, Simon's just getting up now with a long exposure shot on there, which I'll probably do the same. So yeah, I'll bother this one up to, as a starter. But yeah, this place, Malam Tarn, you have got a few woods in that round here as well, going round. You can have a, do a little trail as well, going all the way around, more or less, right to the far side. There's some nice trees on the background there. If they were submerged, then that would be fantastic, but 
they don't get submerged so there's no point even trying that so yeah i'll bob this one up for you first third location on this day out in the dales I've quickly just taken an image from down here. Just using this edge to lead you in onto that stone, then onto the boathouse. You saw it cuts this vast span out of emptiness with the lake out, with the, well, the tarn rather. So yeah, I'll bob that one on for you. We are going to make his way back to the van because we have got one more stop off to do, which is the lone tree. You can't come out the dales without going visiting the lone tree. So we'll, we'll go, we'll go there, and then uh, down in the dales. Well, enjoy it. Right, we have made it to this lone tree location now. Just literally have just park a little lay by there. And there's some steps in the wall which get you over the wall. There's a gate further on if you don't want to go over the wall on the stepping stones. I have done this before because I went down to the other lone tree. So this lone tree is the not so lone tree. <laughs> so if you have a look at the back catalogue you'll find that. So but yeah, we'll quickly nip over here and take a few shots. There we go, look. Over the wall, down the other side and you're there. And you literally Parking that lay-by, just there, and follow the tracks, because these tracks all the way on. Going up the steep way, because you can go around the back to this as well. Or you can just come straight up, follow the footprints, <laughs> as it is quite a very popular location, and straight up on to the limestone. And then you see, it's just there, look. So I'll get set up, it's nice and bright today, so these won't be any spectacular shots. So, camera, one lens, and that's about it for this one. So when I get set up, find some nice leading lines, I'll bob you back on. Because we've got some nice lights over there as well, look. There we go, we're up onto the limestone now. So, oh, the composition you see now, is what I'm going to take, because all these lines lead you straight onto it. I will probably do some more vertical, horizontal ones when I find a nice bit, but there's a lot of ferns, dead ferns and stuff in between this lot. It's not nice and neat, like the windskill stones one was. So, yeah, I'll bob a few images up, and then you can see what's what. Horizontal and vertical, but the clouds are quite nice at the moment. That's it peeps, a day out in the Dales. Hope you've enjoyed this, a few roadside locations. As you can see the van is just over there now. So, I'd say these weren't gonna be more, more spectacular. Not today, totally wrong conditions, but as you see, one camera, one lens, a few locations, all within a nice, probably 10 mile radius, if that. So yeah, just get yourselves out and about. I'd say it's not, not a bad walk, some of these. Literally, the hardest one is probably scale before to get down. Coming back up is fine. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, as always, please give us the old thumbs up. If you fancy joining this Facebook group, Ginger Captures Photography Community, have a few meets up, meet ups every now and again, and just like getting, getting people out and about. People that don't really want to go out on their own with a camera. But yeah, come to one of these. Everyone's there to help each other. In which we do, like I saw on the last one, 
in the times before people borrow my tripods and stuff before now so yeah if you don't get any filters out you need some filters people that we have in this group are absolutely fantastic they'll help each other out the lot so yeah yeah come along i'll leave the link below so yeah that's it now i think it's a pot of tea time and of course yorkshire tea so i'll see you on the next one